Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Doug Polk, uh, the shocking cheating scandal at GG Poker. And he presented a lot of information. So if you've ever played poker, the last thing you would want to do, or I guess the first thing you would want to do if you were a cheater, would be to know all the players' hands, right? And then you can bluff them, you can get them off a hand, or you can catch every single bluff, right? Because to you, you know that they're bluffing, it would be really easy to call. That's what Money Taker 69 was doing. And he was winning at such a high rate that it's unbelievable. And a lot of people put together the data, and poker is very data-driven today. And they realized there is no way he can win this many hands. And he actually made a graph. And the graph, he was way out there in terms of winning percentages, right? So in my opinion, um, this guy was cheating. And I believe Poker GG did announce that, yeah, they caught him doing something. But it's scary to know that these online poker, there is something called God Mode. And it allows you to see every other player's hand. And people who are able to code or exploit this piece of code are obviously able to win a lot of real money. There's a lot of real money that we're talking about, right? Uh, it's an incredible win rate, uh, very loose, and unless he is historically lucky, no. No, right? So let's read some of the comments. What's, what's crazy to me is how blatant this example in the ultimate bet one in the past war. You could take someone who is break even or a small winner at 25 no limit or 50 no limit and have them selectively super user and they would crush and not look as suspicious. I don't think this stuff is happening all the time, but if we're relying on results, these crazy hands to catch this behavior, you can definitely fly more under the radar. The reason you don't publicly talk about an exploit until it's patched and you recouped as many of the illicit gains as you can is not to postpone the bad press. It is A, not to give the offender a chance to stash assets, flee, or more importantly, B, not give other hackers an opportunity to take advantage of the same exploit while you are still vulnerable. There's nothing shocking about this. Online poker has always been infested with cheating and is impossible to Stop it. Not surprised. GG is a platform to be trusted for various reasons, such as their TOS and how they handle cheating allegations. I wish I stopped playing on the platform. Oh, GG is not a platform to be trusted before I learned the hard way. These guys are crooks and have no business trying to make poker more like a video game. They incentivize bad action through various means and treat winning players poorly. Don't worry, guys. The odds are with us that there's only one cheater. Yes, that that is kind of the main concern that people are having is if this one hacker is just going ham on it, how many other hackers are not as stupid, right? So this is the one guy who is really just cheating like crazy. What if you just cheated a little bit and you cheated in a really big pot and you would lose the small pot, but you would always win the big pot, right? insane imagine the amount of hackers smart enough not to screw up their stats and make impossible calls yeah these calls were impossible there's got to be more hackers right it's not just one dude i mean this hacker is actually quite stupid because if he didn't play this way and he didn't play this aggressively and he didn't win all these crazy hands he would for sure be able to play much longer under this cheat code Cheating online is very rampant. Just go look at how prevalent it is with online video game. It's an entire industry selling cheat software. Yep, a aim bots and so on, right? Always got bad vibes about these platforms being exploitable by hackers. Double the size of our security teams. They will now have two security specialists at GG. Man, yeah, it's... um. It blows my mind that network traffic would not be encrypted. This lad's a genius. GG shouldn't ban him. They should offer him a job. The losing a heads up is just a cheater moving to his other account, moving money to his other accounts. Those accounts need to be banned as well. 
Yeah, that's actually uh, very true. I accused them of this years ago of proof, and they banned my account the next day. FYI, all online poker is a scam all the time. Yeah, so that's why you should not play online. I don't play online poker. Uh, I don't play poker at all now. But online poker, the, the problem is a guy knows your hand. You're dead in the water. Like There's nothing you can do. I, I mean, if he knows what your hand is and he can compare his hand with it, there, I'm, you, you're not going to win. That's just not how it works in poker. So this is very interesting, um, and I'm sure that GG Poker isn't the only one that has probably hackers. Just people don't know. People don't know. Like if you were a smart hacker, you would just make your you know make a good money, but not great money. You wouldn't hero call every hand that was impossible to hero call. You would probably mix in some bad play with some good play, and then the data would turn out that it wouldn't be this obvious. They again they have a chart. And then this dude is literally off the charts, like so by by a mile. So clearly there's something wrong here, right? And again, there are many hands, and it's obvious that he is cheating. But what can you do? I mean, what can you do? This is uh, pretty crazy to me that uh, it continues to go and continues to go and continues to go. And okay, so you found one cheater, but what about? The other cheaters. What about the other people who can see everyone's hand, but they're not so stupid because they're not like little kids that they know that like, hey, this play is really bad in my position. I bet. Okay, so this is the, the little red dot is Pot Ripper. And the other little orange dot, dot is Apostle. And Apostle is a cheater because he knows people's hands as well. So Pot Ripper, I mean, look how different they are from the other best play poker players. They're like, you know, you look at how much they're winning, you look at the aggression, the V-pip, and you're just like, wow, this is uh, pretty crazy in my opinion, right? Um, yeah, I just, you know, I don't suggest playing online poker. I think online poker is just asking to get cheated because they have in their code, they have what I would call a god mode where they can see every single person's hand. And because it's coded that way, as long as you can hack that particular code, you're good to go. And you don't need to worry about anything because now you know when somebody bluffs you. And imagine trying to pull off a really great bluff. And it's, it's a great bluff. Then the guy just snap calls <laughs> with like a jack two. With just high card. High, uh, high card jack. It would annoy. I mean, you would go crazy. And this is, again... Why most people should not play online poker. I think in terms of what is uh, happening here. Uh, Mike Apostle. Is that as long as online poker have this god mode encoded in it. And all as long as it is hackable. Then you will never be absolutely certain. That the people you're playing against haven't done that. It's just like aim bots and other programs. And other shooter games. Um, people use them and they rarely ever get caught uh, because they are using them. I mean, unless they're children, right? They're using them sparingly, I would say. So how many cheaters? Probably a lot. Uh, probably a lot of them. Will the code get fixed? Temporarily. And then another hacker will hack a different code and they will learn from this guy and say, hey, let's not, you know, let's not kill the golden goose. Let's let, let it lay eggs. For a very long time. And you don't actually know. Maybe this guy's been cheating for years now. And he just wants to make banking just get out. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye guys.